My name is Joshua Khalil, and I practice consumer protection law in Florida. When I was in high school, I was in a program where we got to leave school early and go to work. And I got a job at a law firm here in town as a runner. And I stayed there for six years until I went away to school. And um, I was fascinated by these people and what they did. There is an outstanding staff at Farah and Farah. You know, I've worked at other law firms in the past and had my own law firm for a while, and uh, there's really something to be said about um, a responsive and efficient support staff. It makes my job a lot easier, and it uh, results in a better result and benefit to the client. Some would say I'm, I'm tenacious, I guess. I. Uh, enjoy arguing, I enjoy bouncing ideas off of other people and absorbing what they're saying and trying to pick apart what they're saying and uh, I, I, I know it sounds cliche or even cheesy but I, I absolutely believe in the, the rule of law and the beauty of the law um, and I believe everyone should have a, an opportunity to benefit from the law and that's why I'm here. Usually it's calm down, you know, not to sound like they're being uh, frantic or anything, but when people have a claim, when they've been damaged or, you know, hurt or they've lost money or their property has been affected, you know, it affects you because you work hard for the money you use to pay for these items. And I want to let them know that, you know, someone out here is going to try to uh, get things straight for you and make sure that people are not allowed to take advantage of you. And so I try to tell them, you know, let me worry about it. You, you need not worry about it any longer. I think it's expectations, really, uh, which is another really important role of an attorney is to manage the expectations of a client. You know, I don't, I don't want people thinking uh, that they're going to get rich off of a particular case when the damages are you know, relatively low or when the damages are capped at a certain, uh, certain amount. So I have to keep things realistic for the client. I think the best piece of advice I could provide to my clients would be uh, don't ever be afraid to call me with questions. Um, I'm here to try to clear the air for you to, to provide some clarity, some confidence, and get rid of anxiety. And I don't want you wondering, wondering, wondering about what's going on, what's going to happen. I want you to ask me, and to the extent I'm able, I'm always going to answer those questions. My work ethic is uh, I don't like to leave things unfinished or incomplete. I like to have things done and nice and tidy and wrapped up at the end of the day. So I don't, I don't like to let things linger. I enjoy barbecuing, smoking meat, um, and playing in a band. I play in a band with my wife and, and two other friends of ours. We play rock and roll covers and it's lots of fun. My favorite quote comes from uh, Richard Nixon when he resigned the office of the presidency. He gave a farewell speech to his staff and, and explained that you know, when things don't always go right, you should seize it as, as an opportunity and recognize when, when things are bad that things are always going to get better. And specifically, he said, uh, it, it's only if you've been in the deepest valley can you ever know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain? And that instills me and I hope uh, others with a, a great deal of hope.